Grade 8 Math number 5.3c, Make Predictions of Values Between Data Points. We're slowly making our way through Unit 5.3, and we're going to get to bivariate data in the next video. So we're working up our knowledge and our way there. So we can use an equation of a linear relationship to predict a value between data points. We write the equation of the linear relationship in y equals mx plus b slope-intercept form by selecting two points and finding the slope, the rate of change, this m, and then we solve for b, the y-intercept, then we'll be able to find our prediction. Okay, so this graph shows three points, and we need to predict the y-value when x equals three and a half. So we've got 2, 1, 3, 4, and 4, 7. Now, we need to write the equation of this linear relationship by first selecting two points. And if you remember from the previous video, we always choose left to right when we choose our points. So we can't choose this as x1, y1, and this is x2, y2. That's going the wrong direction. We need to go from left to right. So I chose 2, 1, and then 3, 4. Doesn't matter how steep the line is, you can still see a left to right, can't you? All right, so we've got 2, 1, and 3, 4 as our points. That's x1, y1, and x2, y2. And we're going to calculate the rate of change and find the slope by using the slope formula. So here's our y2, take away y1. So we have 4, take away 1. 4, take away 1 is 3. Then we have x2 take away x1, so we've got 3 take away 2. Well, 3 take away 2 is 1, and 3 over 1 equals 3. So now we know our slope is 3. We're going to use that. We're going to use the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b by choosing any xy coordinates to find the value of b. So I chose 3 comma 4. That's the x and y values. We plug these values into the equation with that 3 we found for the slope. So m is the slope, and our values for x are 3. That's going to go there. And our value for y is going to be a 4, so that's going to go there. You like my nice color coordinating. Helps, doesn't it? So we're going to plug these values into the equation with the 3 for the slope, and we're going to multiply this. 3 times 3 is 9. So now our equation is 4 equals 9 plus b. Now we're going to be able to find this b by doing that, okay? That's the whole goal. So now we have 4 equals 9 plus b. We subtract 9 from each side of the equation to isolate b. And 4 take away 9 is negative 5. This 9 take away 9 cancels each other out. They make a zero pair, right? And now we have negative 5 equals b. Now we can write the equation for that linear relationship. Whoops, this is a 3. So our slope is 3, our, then we've got an x and a minus 5. And we're going to use this equation to predict that value, that y value, when x equals 3.5. Remember, that was the first thing that it asked us to do, predict the y value when x equals 3.5. So it's going to be in between this point and that point, okay? So what we do is we say, okay, we know our slope is 3. So we plug that in here, and we're looking for x to equal 3.5. So we put that there for x. We know our b is a negative 5, so that goes there. Now what we have to do is solve these, and we'll have our y. We'll have our y value when x equals 3.5. So 3.5 times 3 is 10.5. 10.5 minus that b, that minus 5, is 5.5. Now we know that y is going to be 5.5 when x equals 3.5. See? We were able to do it. And actually, if we look at the graph, we can tell. In between 3 and 4 is 3.5. And if we go up, we can see where it crosses the line at 5.5 in between the 5 and the 6. Look at that. That would have been the point right there. See? But this is useful when the point would have been here or here in some odd place that you're not quite sure what it is. Then you'll be able to get a precise measurement, see? All right, so that's making predictions of values between data points. 
now that you've learned what you've learned in 5.3a, b, and c, now we can go on to 5.3d and do the bivariate data. That's what we've been building up to in this unit. I'll see you there. Bye.